Hi everyone, Anna Kessler here with a new video tutorial and today I'm going to show you how to make DIY coin envelope. Um, I have given it a vintage look but it will be up to you what type of look you want to have for your coin envelope. So what you will need is a five and a half by four and a quarter piece of cardstock or paper and I'm going to add stamps to it. Again, I did it in sort of a vintage look, but it's up to you what stamps you want to use and to give it your look. It can be flowers, it can be shapes, it can be, you can color it with paint. Just add something to the white paper so you will have a nice looking coin envelope and not an empty white one. So I'm using three different stamps, letters, large letters, a hot air balloon, and sort of a newspaper type of text, sort of as the background. So once I have finished stamping on the entire paper, I want to cover it completely. I don't want any white space remaining then I can go ahead and start adding some color with distress ink I'm using photo vintage distress ink again because I want to have that vintage look to my paper but first of all you can start with a color paper from the start you can also make it on a pattern paper so you won't have to stamp anything. But if you want to make a custom coin envelope and decide what pattern you're going to have on it, then start with a blank white paper and then add stamps like I did. So if you want to add colors, you can go ahead and do that with ink. You can do that with watercolors. You can do that with acrylic paints. I'm using distress inks because I like how it blends on the paper and I like the color that it gives it the paper again that vintage look that I'm looking for so I have that blending tool it's a sort of a handle with a replaceable sponge on the at the end and I can add the ink with it simply on circular motion add the ink and basically I'm coloring the white paper use printable um, permanent ink if you're using distress ink like I am or any other kind of paint or watercolor because if you don't it will smear so if you add stamps make sure to use permanent ink like stays on or archival ink so nothing will smear so now let's score our paper on the short side we're going to score it at one inch and three inches this is on the short side and like I said one inch and three inches and on the long side we're going to score it at four inches and half an inch so at four just I flipped it because I have the letters so the direction is important so at four inches and half an inch now we can go ahead and cut the corners we cut the corners until the score lines meet so along the score lines until they meet on all four corners you need to cut that out you can do it with a craft knife I think scissors are much faster and then we can go ahead and round the corners if we want our coin envelope to look nice so you basically round the corners on the top and the bottom of the coin envelope 
I'm going to fold the score lines first. Make sure you fold them straight. And now I can go ahead and round the corners. It will be easier when this is folded towards the inside like this. So this is the top and this is the bottom. I'm going to bring my round corner punch and round corners on the top and the bottom. The next step is to add our eyelets and this is important to do before you glue your envelope because after you glue it it will be impossible to add any eyelets. So I'm using half an inch circle punch as a base for the eyelets and I add one to the top of the envelope where it opens with a little dot of glue centering it and then the other one will go opposite to it on the flap that is currently folded but not glued because we need this to open when we insert the eyelet. When it is closed or glued it is impossible. So insert your eyelets if you have the tool for it. If you don't then you can skip this part and use a brad maybe. So I'm going to insert my eyelet. Again, if you don't have eyelets or the tool to insert them, then just use brads instead. I'm using metal colors because they fit the theme. And this is why you need to do this before you close the envelope with glue because this huge tool will not fit inside the envelope when it's closed. Okay, so once the eyelets are in place, you can go ahead and put some glue on that right flap on the edge, just on the left edge, and then on the bottom as well and close the envelope. Now the last thing that we need to do is add a twine. I want to add a little bit more ink. That is completely optional at this point if you want. If you don't want it's completely up to you. I'm just adding some inking in the edges. I really like how this envelope turns out. Okay, so now for the twine. Um, you don't need a long piece of twine. And it's up to you what color you want it to be, of course. Just finishing with the ink. Okay, so I'm adding just a little tiny bit of glue to the edge of the twine and tucking it under the top circle where the eyelet is. And then just raising the edges of the circle so it will be easier to insert the twine and loop it around for the first time. And then your coin envelope is ready. Isn't that cool? I really like how it turned out. And of course you can enlarge the size and make it bigger if you want. This is a little small, a smaller coin envelope. It will really fit inside mini albums or junk journals. Really like how it turned out. 
So please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click on the little bell icon to be notified when I upload a new video so you won't miss anything and you'll be able to follow all the tutorials and make all the projects. Thank you very much for joining me and I will see you next time.